watching Cape Town 9 News at 4. More than two weeks after a dog was set on fire and killed near Camarillo, police say they've arrested the person behind this horrible crime. Cape Town 9's Amy Johnson tells us why the family who rescued the basset hound named Buddy may ultimately be responsible for the dog's death. 18-year-old Andrew Delgado has been arrested, accused of setting Buddy, a three-year-old basset hound, on fire, a crime that shocked this quiet Camarillo neighborhood. It brings peace of mind that, that somebody isn't out there anymore doing it. And it's just sad that it was somebody that was the, that knew the dog. You know, that's the sad part. Buddy was a Delgado family pet. He died two days after the attack. Do you have anything you want to say? No one at the family's Camarillo home would talk to us, but investigators say Delgado talked to them. He didn't say specifically why. He didn't offer an explanation. He did He did confess. He did admit to detectives during the interview that he was responsible for doing this. Uh, but he did say he was on drugs at the time. Investigators say the crime happened in this ravine near the family home just before 3 a.m. on October 27th. A neighbor that has a view of that ravine saw a fire, called the fire department. And when firefighters arrived on scene, they found Buddy burning down the ravine. It was apparent that Buddy had been doused with lighter fluid and deliberately set on fire. The family adopted Buddy in August of 2011 from the Basset Hound Rescue of Southern California. He joined another Basset Hound already in the home. We're very committed to making sure that all of these hounds that we place get loving and safe homes. And we have an extensive adoption policy. We do home visits. We do vet checks. And we do our best to ensure that the dogs will be safe. So when something like this happens, it's devastating to us. Delgado is in custody, facing felony arson and felony cruelty to animal charges. He was on probation. Court documents show he was arrested four times this year on various misdemeanors. He is due in court on Tuesday. In Camarillo, Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News.